guys, what's up? It's Katie Candy and the Droker here with another episode of From Comics to Cinemas podcast. For those of you who don't know, we are gamers on we are gamers on Twitch. Wow, there goes that intro. Yep, yep. We were gamers on Twitch. <laughs> we were gamers on Twitch. No, we still are. <laughs> and you can see the links to those channels in the description of this video and at the end of the video. So be sure to drop us a follow. Remember, you can catch the live recording of this show every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the Candyland Discord. So today we are going to be talking about the Big Red Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the big red cheese, yes. <laughs> yes. My no. favorite <laughs> that, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, for you, those of you who don't know who that is, it is Captain Marvel. Wait, yes. what? Yes, yes, that's right. Yes. Who is it? The real Captain Marvel, the one that we all know today as Shazam. <laughs> Ooh, that, that was that was that was spicy. I know, wasn't it? I loved it. Yes. <laughs> that's just how I'm going to do it every time now. Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of how he says it in the, in the, well, in the animated series anyway. I mean, in my head, he doesn't say it like that, but maybe now he will. I read it in the comic. <laughs> I um, really hope now yeah. when you read it, that's a hundred percent how it's how it sounds. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> So, and, and, and you know what, this, he, he, Billy Batson, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam, a.k.a. the Big Red Cheese. Big Red Cheese, <laughs> that's right. Don't you forget it. He is a really cool DC character, and I gotta yeah. admit, I came into this podcast not knowing a whole lot about him, and so did some research, read some comics, and I'm really disappointed in myself for not knowing who this guy actually was, because... He's, he's he's cool. He's really cool. Yeah, he's a cool character. He's super powerful. Like, yeah. I, I, like what we were talking about earlier with how you would kind of dunk on your nerd friends. <laughs> yeah, that was he was always my trump card to the Superman argument because everybody would always be like, "Oh, Superman's the strongest in the DC universe," and I'm like, "Eh, they're like, there's this one cat. You know, he's actually a kid, but he's a but he's a man, but he's a kid, but he's a man. He says his word, and then he's all magical and he's really powerful." And he's actually, he's actually fast enough to catch the Flash. He had to catch the Flash in one instance, and Superman couldn't do it. And so Shazam did it, and he caught up to him. But he only realized the only way he could stop him was to say Shazam and hit him with the lightning bolt. That changes him. So he, he runs up to the Flash, says Shazam, and then he basically takes them both out and stops the Flash. It's crazy. That's he's, pretty, he's, he's that's super powerful. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's crazy. It's cool. Yeah, he's he's really cool. and it And it's so good to see because he had... Like, he's one of those characters that went through um, basically the trials to become Shazam, right? So, but um, it was basically how he's so pure of heart and always wanting and trying to do the right thing, despite everything, every card that was dealt was basically the wrong hand for him. He went through so much losing his parents mm -hmm. and all this other, which we're, we'll talk about that because he's been retconned, so... Right, but yeah, yeah he was yeah. basically like, wasn't he like living on the streets uh, in the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like kind of, kind of the whole orphan, kind of Tony Stark, kind of Bruce Wayne, kind of origin. Really, I mean, I guess he technically was was before them because he came out what yeah. 38, 37, uh, something like that. He was really early on. He in, was in, super in early on. Um, so he was actually Captain Marvelous, and they should they shorted they shorted it down right. to, to Marvel. And then there and was then, that whole lawsuit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then there's the, and then well, there was which, two lawsuits, right? Because two was, lawsuits. One with yeah. Superman, and then one yeah. with Captain Marvel. Yeah, they because they based the likeness on Fred McMurray, who was mm -hmm. a popular actor at the time in the 30s, and um, well, really 19, well, 20s, 1930s, and uh, I guess the, I'm not really sure. I was reading up on it. I did some research, and I'm still confused because the judge ruled that it wasn't an infringement of the copyright because there was no copyright, but later there was a copyright, so. I yeah, it was weird because when I was reading that, so yeah, the first judge ruled that there was no copyright and right. then they like appealed that ruling and yeah. then it went to another judge right. and the other judge was like, there kind of was, but there okay. kind of wasn't. Okay. So we're just going to okay. call it a wash. <laughs> yeah. It's just, the law back in the 30s and the 40s, they were just like, bah, bah, yeah, see, yeah. I don't know that maybe they talk that way, but. <laughs> That's exactly how my dog <laughs> sounds when he wants a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> He does though. Well, what, a, what a good dog! But it, it later it comes out that the uh, the image that he actually 
chooses to look like when he changes into like Shazam or whatever or Captain Marvel, uh, it was his father. Right. Um, I think that was New Fifty Two information. Yes. They kind of added. They yes. Because solidified like a, an actual like all right, this is his origin. This is what we're running with. Because wasn't it his his father who brought him to um oh gosh what's his face the sorcerer. I can't think of his name. Who made him Shazam? His father was the one that kind of led him along that the way. Wizard, yeah, the wizard, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the wizard is Shazam, yeah, yeah. Because there's another wizard. I forget. Oh, I should look this up. I forget his name. There's another wizard. There's that's like pretty much opposite of him. And they're super powerful. The wizards, the, the, I say the wizards in DC, but these guys are like basically beyond like old god power level. Like these guys are ridiculously super strong. Yeah. Um, I forget his name. Anyway, but yeah, <laughs> so it's you're dealing with like crazy, crazy. I think it was Jack Kirby, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody's gonna 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 make fun of me if I got this wrong, but we have him to thank for all this craziness because of the old gods and new gods and mm -hmm. in, in DC. So yeah, and it's it's kind of cool how they yeah. break down his his powers, right? Because like the S stands for Solomon, H yes. for Hercules, A for Atlas, Z for Zeus. Um, A for Achilles and M for Mercury. And that's like basically he has all those powers of those gods. Yeah. This is really yeah. kind of cool. When you stop and think about it, it's, it's really kind of like a cool thing. Because it's like, He's oh, Voltron, but gods. He, he basically is. <laughs> <laughs> He's Voltron, but gods. And then you have the Shazam family, which are like his friends. Or like you know, or like mm -hmm. people that he knows or that he loves and he's close with, like yeah. Mary Marvel's his sister, his sister, um, and they basically are like they're like minor minor versions of himself, but still pretty powerful. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> he is. He he really is. He's he, 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 uh, it's it's and then he's uh, he's like I said he, like I said like he was my trump card for a Superman argument because he was he can he can literally he's crap at a Superman numerous times. Um. The one thing I do remember growing up is him being susceptible to mind control and people getting him to say Shazam against his will all the time to snap him out of that form and get him back into kid form um, to like hold him against his will. That was a common theme I remember um, in one, I mean, very effective way because that's kind of a weakness and yeah. get rid of his voice. Uh, I mean, there's ways, but like it's a really quick way to tie a kind of stymie him real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah, and Brandon makes a good point. That's why his arch nemesis is Mr. Mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's <laughs> it's it's and it's cool because, like you said, you know, Solomon, Hercules, you know, Zeus, Atlas, Mercury, Achilles. Um, it brings in you know these 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 pantheon into the DC universe and actually makes them. You know, which, of course, I, that's just really kind of sucks them in, and uh, that's who he answers to. <laughs> it's it it it, it it's it, crazy it's pretty cool and um i love when him and thor were pitted against each other because you had yeah. the god of lightning and the god of thunder and yeah. basically it, it was this huge battle they kind of like collided off of each other kind of sort of uh, Shazam mm -hmm. went flying and got pinned under like a bunch of debris. And the only way he could free himself was to yell Shazam. So that turned him back into Billy Batson. And mm -hmm. as Thor saw the lightning come down, uh, he threw Mew Mew. And then Mew Mew it hit the lightning. Mew Mew went shooting off. And mm -hmm. so Thor, Thor kind of <laughs> won, <fuck>? but <laughs> he lost Mew Mew. <laughs> Yeah. I remember reading that as a kid and it's just like you're like wait just what because <laughs> the Amalgam, the Amalgam universe was really cool but that was yeah I mean mm -hmm. what's funny is I forgot about that fight until I until I read this and I was like oh, I remember reading that as a kid and being so confused I'm mm -hmm. like what, what the heck happened to that hammer he's just gone like it's just the lightning hit it that because that that's very powerful lightning bolt um the one that summoned oh yeah Shazam. yeah it's so, like it's not just any lightning bolt, guys. It is like <laughs> it's not just like the kind. Bolt, okay? It's not like the kind that when you walk outside and you're like, "Oh, it's raining." There's a bolt of lightning. It's totally not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, no. So it's, it's and he's he's and he's again he's it, often when he gets knocked into kid form, a lot of things change from people who are fighting him. I mean, mm -hmm. Thor being so pure of heart and everything. They, I mean, they they both prayed before that fight. Yeah, so they did. They, really, they didn't even really want to fight each other. They did they, not. They did not. So. Yeah, Thor felt very um, unworthy of his victory. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, because he's Thor. Yeah. Pride yeah. reason. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the um, Superman Shazam First Thunder, which you could actually watch. Uh, DC Mightiest Hero section on HBO Max right now. You can watch that. There's an animated movie. It's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, that's basically Sam and Superman teaming up against, um, well, against Black Adam. Essentially, is what happened. But it's it's there's I don't want to ruin. It. <laughs> you can go watch it. It's it's really good. It's kind of a nice introduction into the whole character and like DC animated. So it's too terrible. <laughs> I definitely, definitely recommend it. It came out 2010, 2011, somewhere around there. So it's it's you know it's about 12 years old now. So it which, aged pretty well. Which is right around. Wasn't that right around the time they retconned? uh shazam to the new 52 to the new 52 yeah so there was i, I don't even know how to explain how how do we how, he, he, not, maybe not so innocent anymore yeah more of like um a troubled child <laughs> yeah right? they gave, and, yeah <laughs> they gave him the classic uh orphanage yeah. hopper troubled youth syndrome versus the the really bright-eyed like hopeful yeah and that we knew right because that's how he was before he was like super optimistic about everything mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. now he's kind of he's still like hopeful but not as much but he's still troubled and now he's in kind of like a foster home which is actually what right. we saw in the shazam movie, the movie right so uh, great movie, by it the way. was it, that, that, that's that was a great dc flick that was very underrated in my and opinion i really like that so also in the new 52 they kept him have his um kind of like childlike mannerisms like his mind they didn't separate yeah. it which they did in the the previous version right and early on it, it was it's it's you you kind of wonder how like it, it was just it was like two different personalities but in the new 52 it was it was basically billy learning how to like be an adult as an adult yeah <laughs> if that makes sense yeah which is what we saw in the movie yeah. when he's in like movie, i'm gonna yeah, go buy yeah. beer yeah. <laughs> 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 which what was it zachary zachary Le Le levy Lev levi whatever how you say his name good job it, good job i, I love that job. movie so good, much good and it, it kind of did take the epitome the not the epitome the um the the tone of the comics that I kind of skimmed through because even though DC is kind of dark in a lot of regards, but they still kind of, right. because he is kind of childlike um, with the exception of that one thing that I don't know yeah, if maybe we uh, should talk uh, about. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> here's the, it's okay. So he's obviously in the justice league and he rubs elbow with other people who don't really know he's a kid early on. And he hooks up with some people like wonder woman. If I'm not mistaken, Cheetah's another one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as as you know, should the wizard as Shazam as Big Body Boy. It's weird when you explain it like that, but then you realize like Wonder Woman's like you know basically half a god and the same gods that like empower Shazam. So like when it makes kind of sense. Can you think about it? It's Sorry. it's 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 just, I don't know. It's, it's weird. A weird thing. It's a weird because thing. He's a kid. Because he's a kid. He's technically a kid. In the yeah. body of an adult. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, but when he's in the when he's in that body, he is he is a he's a full grown, big, giant, enormous man who can punch Superman across the galaxy. So it's like <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, who is he really? And that's that's where that whole like personality mm -hmm. thing comes in, comes into play. It's like who is he really? Because the wizard chose him to obviously be Captain Marvel, Shazam, not to be a, a kid because ob otherwise he would have left him in a kid form. So it's like I don't know it. it he it's it's interesting and then went with the way they tackle it in the new 52 because it's it's like you're you're a kid that's forced to grow up extremely fast at a time where you're supposed to just enjoy being a kid but they gave him the troubled youth thing so it's kind of like you know he kinda, the big brother syndrome takes care of everybody too mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the like he takes care of freddie and... yeah 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 exactly so i don't know it's it's an interesting story. It's an interesting take. I miss the happy-go-lucky, really bright-eyed kid, but I understand why. So yeah, yeah, it it, it, it makes sense, and I think yeah. I think they're they're doing a pretty decent job um, with it, as far as I could, I've read and kind of skimmed over and and that sort of thing. They're they're great stories, and like I said, I'm disappointed I didn't read some of these earlier on. <laughs> 
Yeah, the one that I was very upset I didn't read earlier, or I didn't know about, was the Dark Side Wars. After Dark Side Wars, oh um, yeah, uh, Shazam got a whole new like power upgrade. So he got a whole new pantheon of gods. His powers was draws form. The Wizard Shazam actually being one of the gods in the new pantheon. Um, so like he was no longer connected to Zeus, Mercury, Solomon. Uh, you know all those gods. He was connected to like new gods, and he got like a whole new suit and a whole new power level. And he actually kicks. Darkseid's father, Darkseid's father, actually, they fight and he, he beats the crap out of him. So, Which like, is he's not an easy task at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he just beats the crap out of like, a, like, a, like a, one of the most powerful beings in, in the DC verse. And so now his power level is basically it's not capped, at least at the time of that war. It was basically left wide open. Do anything with it, reasons of DC reasons, but um, really cool story arc and him like i don't know it, it brings him to a whole new level of of, of almost he's god destroyer he's not even world destroyer now like he's a god yeah. destroyer he, he he killed a god so yeah. it's kind of crazy where he's where he was where he was what level he was brought up to and his, his suit is all cool too he's got like runic pattern patterns going through the the hood and the cheese suit i guess but, <laughs> cheese suit. i don't know it, it was really cool to learn about and i'm really upset that i learned about it i would <laughs> Back when I was collecting comics, we're trying to collect comics again with the new 52, and that run was right around then. But yeah, he's Don't. he's he's pretty wild, and he became like um, the keeper of the rock, right? And that, and he gave Freddy his basically made Freddy the acolyte of 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 him. Then yeah, Freddy became Shazam. Shazam mm -hmm. became the wizard. Him. <laughs> Yeah, because the wizard, because was it was it uh, Spectre that killed the wizard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spectre. They they battled a lot. Him, him and Spectre, and oh, some yeah. guys know Spectre. Uh, maybe we'll do an episode on Spectre. We should do an episode yeah, of, on Spectre probably. because he's he's a uh, yeah. <laughs> he's really cool. And he's kind of he's kind of really important. He's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to do Mark Spector. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that idea. I like that idea. Episode one. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh show's been great so far. That's all I want to say. But we'll talk, because we'll, we'll talk about it later. But oh, my yeah. God, this is so good so far. It's so uh, good. But yeah, he fights the Spectre quite a bit. Um, Spectre is considered like an omni, omni-powerful person in the DC universe. He can basically crush a planet at will kind of kind of powerful um he can take over pretty much anybody's body uh, i know that's how he's gotten shazam out of form before um plot armor bruce wayne actually is one of the few humans who could resist being taken over by specter um i mean he still gets taken over but he can at least resist it a little bit and have a little dialogue with specter and it's always funny when that happens um <laughs> but yeah he's it's it's kind of crazy that they, you can put captain marvel or shazam up against him and they can just go and throw throw fists and just summon lightning bolts and throw things and go go to it's it's crazy it's yeah specter's a cool character yeah we should, we should. he's not really good he's not really bad he's he's kind of just the specter he's just there <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's what pisses um shazam off is that he's he's kind of he just does what he wants shazam's like dude what are you doing because he's like really really wholesome golden mm -hmm. boy values traditional and yeah so then he admires superman a lot that's like a character that's a characteristic of billy batson that's why uh, there was a story arc when Superman actually got the powers of Shazam, and after like dealing with it and running with it, he was like, "Oh, I have like a whole new respect of like what you have to control and like what you have to handle as far as like power." He's like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> that was a really cool. Like, uh, yeah, because wasn't it wasn't it like the first time they met? Um, was that whole big thing with like Lex Luthor got involved mm -hmm. um, uh, with the Doctor and and everything, and then like that's when Shazam told it basically was like hey i'm just a kid superman's like okay yeah. i'm leaving they're sitting on top of mount olympus and yeah. Su superman leaves and then clark kent walks up <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like yeah, wait what clark kent. It's, it's it's a cool it's a cool little thing they played on it for a while because there was a while where well, i think it was only batman knew mm -hmm. that billy batson was shazam and i think it was when he was the, that was the one who invited him onto the justice it was batman like i know your kid that's why i invited you because we need like youth we need a youthful like optimistic mind on this um <laughs> on this team which 
you would think he'd appoint one of his own protégés, but you know when he gets done with his protégés, they're no longer youthful or optimistic. So, I guess yeah, the Shazam kids and the Shazam family, Captain Marvel family, works for that because I think I don't know if they're in Bloodhaven, but I I want to say there's a connection between them and Nightwing, at least the Shazam kids or the orphanage. Um, I think pretty sure they're up there. Like he like was investigated the orphanage they were from or something like that as as Detective Dick Grayson. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, um, it's, it's cool. you know, it's going back to like the lawsuit. It's really weird, too, how yeah. like the the Marvel family kept their names. The Shazam family yeah. kept yeah. their names like Freddie was still yeah. Captain Marvel Jr. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it. These it, those, Mar- you know, you know how those lawsuits go. They only go after the main character, mm-hmm. the, one, the one that really matters the most. And. I mean, it, when you when you really do look at Superman and and Shazam, they, they do look extremely. They similar. do. Like, they do. No duh, like no <laughs> duh. But you know, wh- who cares? <laughs> <laughs> there's there's room for both of them, honestly. I, which, although you know, you know, reading all this is has gotten me excited for the Black Adam movie coming out. So at least that that got me all geared up for that. Yeah, because it's weird because like. Black Adam, he's a villain, but then doesn't he like join the JSA at some point and then leaves the JSA? If I remember correctly, yeah, he he joins and leaves and he was like cuz he's not uh, I don't know. Cuz in later movies he's 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 basically let out to be a bad guy. Like he teams up with like uh Yellow Lantern, Astro yeah. and like Lex Luthor and like all of them, like you know, he's like a bad guy. But like when you really learn about him, you're like, really though, <laughs> <laughs> is he? Because um, kind of just looking out for his own. So yeah, it's 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 uh, <laughs> Mister Freeze all over again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And we talk about like how strong he is, but like he is also susceptible to obviously his own lightning and the word mm-hmm. Shazam. He's a kid, and so he doesn't really understand how a lot of things work, especially when Justice League early on kind of kind of just thinks he could take things by himself. Or you know, there's there's a reason there's a team of them together trying to fight whatever they're fighting, and he thinks he can just go in there all gung ho. But um, it's cool to see. So what you're saying is he's full send Shazam. He's full Shazam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's full Shazam. Oh god, in a lot of instances, <laughs> especially oh him and Hal, especially Hal Jordan early on team ups in Justice League. They just they have a little competition on like who's the cockiest. It's it's a little, <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. And you always got like Bruce and like you know Superman in the back like face palming <laughs> two imbeciles. Like what are they doing? There's a reason we're all here. Um, but it, it's 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 cool, man. But he he has a tie in with the whole magic side of D. So it's you yeah. know who you know. Yeah, because he teams you know, up goes, with um, Zaytana a lot. With the Zaytana, Doctor Fate, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because the whole Sh- the Shazam wizard guy himself and Doctor Fate are tied together, which is why they were in the Black Adam. Up. Oh. Yeah. Sense. I'm excited to to see Doctor Fate on on the big screen. I don't care. They can they can mess it up. He, he at least looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Doctor Fate, Doctor Strange, not the same. Please stop Ooh. saying that. <laughs> Those of you out there that are saying Doctor Fate and Doctor Strange are the same, they are not. Please stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Fate Fate's the Lord of Order. Um. Well, the, the, the okay, so the, he's a he's a god living inside of a helmet. Um, <laughs> that's basically what he is. Lord of Order living inside of a helmet, but um, yeah, and they go, he commonly battles Lords of Chaos, which just tied in Black Adam, and I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure on exactly how. I think he frees the Lords of Chaos. I think uh, <laughs> a, little, a little shaky on that one. A little shaky on that one. Well, yeah, but yeah, he's yeah. It, it's wild, like all the all, all the stuff that um, you know he's been in. All all how he, he he's he's pretty buddy buddy with Cyborg too, right? Like if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and the newer, and especially yeah. in the new 
52. Yeah, the new 52. Yeah, he becomes because you know Billy Batson's a kid. He loves yeah. technology, and then you're like, what? What's one of the things you love as a kid? Is you, um, uh, you know a cyborg, a man, a <laughs> machine man. Like, come on, that's cool. And plus, plus they're both like internet meme savvy. I think I've seen some of the they can crack jokes. They understand each other pretty well. Um, it's it's yeah. The new 52 is really cool for him. I don't know. I just thought he looks cooler, to be honest with you. I like the, I like the updated updated costume, the updated uh, updated past I could have done without, to be honest. But, you know, it yeah. is what it is. And I mean... It, it, Went ahead and did it. Yeah. And I mean, and, and that's the thing. That's the thing, right? Like, comics are all... They're always retconning, right? Like, there's so... And, and we talked about it, too, with, like, with Banshee, when we did the Banshee podcast. Yeah. So... <clears throat> have no fear someone sometime eventually will be retconned <laughs> yeah it's it's definitely a thing <laughs> but yeah he's he's been in um a, a bunch of cool ones he was in that um a mazo virus outbreak right <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> He was in Blackest Night too. He was in Yeah. Uh, I know he was in Blackest Night he, because that, that I think it was Osiris and that was Osiris. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I remember, I remember the panels with him and they were really, really like really good panels. Whoa, real whoa ones mind. Yeah, it was it was really cool. Of course everything tied to ties into that to that story arc. Oh yeah. Because that was just a really if you guys haven't seen it, but that, that's that's all the whole Black Lantern episode, Black Lantern or story arc, so which like um we, we should... oh and then kingdom come too he was in yeah he was one of the first uh heroes to retire oh in the that's kingdom right story arc. that's right yeah he retired really early on because he that was because like, technically he's like 14 yeah well, <laughs> he retired <laughs> yeah technically yeah and then he and then he lived out you know billy batson life and um yeah, he got real tired of, of that world early, really early on. He was one of the first ones to give up the whole mantle of superhero and be like, you know, forget this world. I'm just going to go do my own thing, which is really weird for a character like Batson. But in that world, in that, in that story. Man. But I mean, if you think about it, it would make sense, right? Because you're a kid, you're kind of forced to grow up really early, right? And like... Most teenagers are like, oh, it's the end of the world. No, he's literally like, no, it's actually the end of the world. Like, if I don't go do this, <laughs> right? So, you know, like, he's he's forced to grow up very quickly. So it, it yeah. would make sense. He's constantly put in it. space-faring, you know, battles across with big beasts. I mean, constantly he's fighting Black Adam and, like, mm -hmm. the gods and stuff like that. And occasionally super, But... Usually it's it's the big bads that he they, they put him up against and they they really get his powers go go. I really would like to see them kind of push him to like his full extent so that like we could actually see it and not you know have kind of have a cap on him because technically right now like you said he doesn't have a cap. Yeah, right now he's limitless. Right, right. now after the whole Dark Side War he's limitless. Right now we don't know what. Because he just, I, I, it's. I'm trying to find where it was. I think this is it. Siva, Pranmir, Anapol, Zonzu, Ate, Mama Ragan, and God of Gods. Uh, I guess this is like the new Shazam gods. Uh, strength of Siva, fires. Oh yeah, the fires of Pranmir. So. This ties into Martian Manhunter, but so he gets the power of the of fire in this and with his new abilities uh, after the whole uh, Dark Side War. So now looking to control like the whole thunder lightning thing, he gets like this Martian fire, which you know the whole thing with fire and Martians in DC. They don't like fire. Well, yeah. one race doesn't. One race like reveres it. One race hates it, but they all don't like it because it can really hurt them. So he gets the power of that. Um, An apple is wisdom. Um, Zone, 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 um, that's a, zone, <laughs> um, Sound that's it out. God, <laughs> so he has, that's what gives him his durability and his super speed. So he still has like similar powers, but there's like a whole new gods are giving him his, 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 his abilities now. Um, I'm trying to think there was no another one. Hmm. 
that's it. That was the one that I think the fire was what I was thinking of because that was like a whole new uh, ability. Yeah. Yeah, because everything else was like wisdom, super strength, super speed. It was the fire. Yeah, yeah. The fire. That was the whole new thing. And I think it ties into Martian lore as well. And Martian Manhunter John, John Jones actually knows a lot about that god in history. Which that they got to. Martian <sighs> Manhunter is one that we should definitely do. Yeah, mom, mom, mom. Yeah, that's that's. The <laughs> Mom, Mama Reagan, Ma, Ba, 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 when it happens, like there's like a transfer of knowledge, so like he can hear the new gods talking and like the old gods like leaving his head and the new gods coming in, like what the heck's going on? What are we doing? What what is happening? Like they're everybody's really confused, and it reminded me, of course, of <laughs> Moon Knight. So, I, I bring it back every episode. Every episode. Every we're episode. It in. Boom. <laughs> But it was really cool. It was really cool because you, you got to see as it happened, like the whole new Panther takeover and where he draws his power from. That's really awesome. So, okay, let's um, let's kind of jump into, I know the Shazam movie is a couple years old and we've got the Black Adam movie coming out and then we've got another Shazam movie um, yes. coming out. I thought they did fairly well with sticking to some of the comic lore with Shazam, um, well, especially the New 52 stuff, right? They basically took everything from the New 52 stuff and kind of rolled with it and kind of forgot all about mm, the Captain Marvel stuff because he was kind of, yeah, which I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense if they're going this whole retconned route with the DCEU, but who really knows what the DCEU is doing? anyway <laughs> especially now uh, yeah i don't i don't know but they had the, they have a good thing going with this side of dc which is funny because it's like the mystical side of dc mm -hmm. which i like but but <laughs> i just uh, i know they're gonna mess it up i they have a good thing going and i know the rocks involved and i feel like black adam and the next exam i feel like they're gonna be good because they have they have a nice tone for the whole series mm -hmm. right now it's very like it's a lighthearted, serious, mm -hmm. you know, which is which is exactly what what Shazam is. Yes. Like that's exactly how it should be handled. And I don't want them to take it too seriously. But also, it kind of deals with some heavy stuff, man. So it it does need to be taken seriously as well. And I really, I, 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 it makes me nervous that they they pushed everything back. But it also <laughs> it's like okay, well maybe they, it gives them more time to fix more wrong things. And what it also does give them more time to rewrite a lot of stuff too, as we mm -hmm. saw. Uh, so the mustache <laughs> the mustache <laughs> Zack snyder's justice league uh pretty much the entire first movie of suicide squad i mean i can i can we can go all day <laughs> <laughs> the directors listen the director's oh. cut of batman vs superman so much better than the theatrical release by the way and that's the thing, Brandon, uh, you're right. Shazam works as fr family friendly and it should be because should. like it, you've got the whole Shazam family or Marvel family, however you want to call them. So it should stick to that. It shouldn't be something like Deadpool or Batman or right. anything along those lines. Like it should 100% stay family friendly. So because he has that optimistic outlook, he has that kind of kid personality you don't want like an r-rated film with a kid as a superhero unless it's kick-ass um <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> or x23 <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> so i mean you know <laughs> and we're back to the wonder woman thing in the discord go. chat there we go <laughs> Yes, it's a thing. It is definitely a thing. It's especially if you watch a lot of the animated DC stuff and the Justice League stuff. Mm -hmm. um, 
which I, I didn't, which I didn't get a chance to, but I wanted to go back and watch the actual individual episodes. I went and watched back a couple of them, a couple of the movies fun to watch, but uh, the actual Justice League episodes, like Justice Limited. Eh, <laughs> eh, we, we're talking about the newer stuff anyway, so. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm excited to see where they go. I, I'm wondering who they're going to use as a villain. Second one. I mean, like, I know Black Adam. Oh my God! Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm like, but I want like who else are they going to add? Um, I I would just, I would honestly finalize. Honestly, I would love for them to be like building something up for where he like faces Spectre at some point in time. That, that would be really cool. I you know I would you know be completely honest with you how how they handled how they handle Specter would to me would be a test on how they would do oh a hundred percent um oh yeah it, I think I think Brandon's right I think it is gonna be Mister Mind uh, I do remember seeing that in the post credits oh yeah 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 you're right yeah okay I'm okay with that all right yeah, yeah no that's fine yeah, I mean that fine. makes sense too yeah, right it. That's fine. Right, that yeah. that one hundred percent makes sense for him to face off against, against Mister Mind. Can't, can't can't be mad at that because mm -mm. that's like I said, that was one of the things he's susceptible to. That's like one of the I was but kind of sucks. He has all this power and you play mind games with him, but hey, you know he's a himbo. So <laughs> he's a himbo. It is, it is what it is. What it is. <laughs> Which they don't, and, and that's the thing in in the first Shazam movie, they don't touch on that, right? They don't touch on him being weak to mind control. No, 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 not yet. Not, well, right. yeah, they, they wanted to make him, you know, seem well, yeah. uber powerful. And now they're probably going to second we'll explore the weaknesses, I'm sure. Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> I know each of the kids has a weakness because um, they all like, they specifically draw power from one, whereas like, you know, Shazam yeah. gets all the powers. Yeah. They, the kids focus on just one. So I know that they're, they'll, their weaknesses are like, like, like obviously the one that Mercury just tie their legs like they can't run fast <laughs> they're that's pretty much how they stop flash from a lot of things um <laughs> or go the opposite Which, route making by make the way that's, that's so funny to me i i know it shouldn't be but it's like how do we stop the flash hey let's tie his, uh, yeah, legs, just together. Tie his legs together yeah <laughs> <laughs> it worked a lot until he got i forget what it was but then he got the vibrational thing. yeah and then he now he just vibrates through everything <laughs> how, how was that again <laughs> that's how barry allen did it that's 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 right oh, oh my he... god anyway that alone <laughs> oh my <laughs> oh my anyway back to shazam <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we at least know he's as strong as superman mm -hmm. physically we at least know he's as fast as or he's yeah he's as fast as flash mm -hmm. probably not you know he, he can't tap into the speed force but mm -hmm. we at least know he can catch up to him say say the word shazam and, and lightning bolt him and get him to stop running um <laughs> he's pure of heart you know, he's pure of innocence that's that's why he's always he's always on the right of he's on the side of good mm -hmm. very rarely is that is, is that a character very bad things and when it does happen something's very wrong yeah he, he's mind controlled or there's some alternate version of him doing something something something's afoot um <laughs> so yeah he's a very pure pure of heart he's a he's a golden boy character he is he is and he, he's basically like um pre new 52 he's basically described as like a boy scout right yeah yeah especially especially mm -hmm. pre oh god yeah especially as post Post as Billy Batson, not so much as Captain Marvel. Yeah, a little bit, but he feels like he has to be, carry a certain mantle when he changes to to Captain. Marvel. I um, would, I would actually CB disagree with that. I would say he is more pure of heart than Captain America. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Ooh, that would be actually kind of a cool crossover story to see rogers get the powers from the wizard kinda that would be cool, right? that would be kind of cool kind of cool right lightning shield <laughs> <laughs> i don't know calypso hespera oh okay interesting. oh really interesting oh 
Hesper, is that the is that the chick with is that the snake chick? Oh god, I'm gonna have to look this up. <laughs> the snake chick. <laughs> I, well, Medusa is the one that can turn them to stone with all the snakes. But I think you're t- thinking of the other snake chick. I mean, we all know who Calypso is. Did it? <clears throat> no, no, no. I'm thinking of somebody else, not not who I was thinking Medusa, of. Medusa, Stone, Hesper, Hespera, Jello. Thank you, Meta. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to say something, but I'm not going to. Go ahead. I'll edit it out. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not right. It's not right. <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> Sorry. So it'll be interesting, but, but they had Mr. Mind in the post credits. Man, at B, it's DC. Look, it's D- they just they, they literally just throw stuff to a wall and see if it sticks. That is actually very accurate. That's they, sometimes they get a good little gem like like the first Shazam movie, and you know what? You can't expect them to keep it up because they don't. They've been proven that they can ruin a good thing. <laughs> Snyder cut. <laughs> yeah, they've been proven time and time. And and here's the other thing with the Snyder cut: we were supposed to get a Green Lantern, not stupid. I mean, I, I say. Stupid. But not not Martian Manhunt. Yeah. I don't. I. I I, be an old I would cranky man when a good DC movie is going to be come out, and I'm going to be too just jaded to enjoy it. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> They're going to release something good, like the new Batman movie, actually really good. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to be like curmudgeon. <laughs> curmudgeon. You know that is the second time anyone has used that this week. <laughs> the word, word curmudgeon. Yeah. That's a, that's a good word. It is. I just don't hear it very often. And no, I've heard you don't. it I've heard it twice this week. Once from you, once from work in progress. <laughs> well, that makes sense. That, that makes sense. I believe he uh, called Brandon that. <laughs> uh well that also makes sense. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm interested to see where they're gonna take shazam how far they're gonna go with it if we're gonna get a jsa movie which i would absolutely love to get a jsa movie um i think it would be much better than whatever they're building with (sighs) you know (laughs) yeah they what's funny is is i remember oh oh, man side 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 note what i wanted to talk about earlier was they actually in the 80s they tried to redo him oh yeah for earth one and try to make him the main continuity it was mm-hmm. like it was a uh, captain thunder i think they were yep. gonna call him and that never stuck it's, it was funny like how like the 80s man they just they just they were they just read let's just, just change this and see if it sticks and like nothing really stuck. again throwing darts um, at a wall yeah man it's that's what i'm saying another <laughs> it's just it, it, it they have a history of just doing that like let's just see if this works let's just see if this works let's see if this works you know and just it's rough. <laughs> rough. It's hard out here being a DC fan. Listen, so. I felt your pain with yeah. this. Oh. <laughs> Morbius. Oh, we loved Morbius. Me. <sighs> so good. <sighs> good. I'll stake so, myself. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so, oh, so bad. Uh. But, yeah, I'm interested to see, um, apparently, potentially a version of the JSA will be in the Black Adam movie, which will be interesting. Yeah, it'll, and it's, we'll see if it, what continuity or what, it, you know, what, what sticks from that, because JSA was super, super important. Mm-hmm. It gets glossed over quite a bit, because, it, and rightfully so, because it had a really weird Earth, Earth 2 origin, which Dave, DC hates Earth 2, but also they love Earth 2. So explain that to anybody who's a comic book reader. Just, if you're a comic book reader, you get it. You're like, oh, yeah. But as, as a non-comic book reader, you're like, hey, what? Listen, the best what way to mean? describe it, listen, if you're a woman, heels. We love yeah. and we hate heels. Yeah, <laughs> All at the that. same time. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Because Earth 2 is extremely important, but also crazy stuff happens on, on that Earth a lot. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bad stuff happens. Um, 
different timeline. Then there was I'm reading there's a there's a 1941 Captain Marvel movie. What? Republic Republic Pictures Adventures of Captain Marvel. Yeah. Man, I feel like Oh, they tried to Oh, they tried to ride on the heels of Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers. And oh, that's all that is. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's super old. <laughs> Too many uh, Earths to talk about. Just keep it on me verse. Oh, wow. Listen, listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> okay. There's I like I like the Earths. <laughs> That was a lot of S's. There's a lot of Earth. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> the multiverse sure, is real. The multiverse yeah, is real. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure DCU Online, the whatever happens in that, and I'm pretty sure that's its own universe as well. Its yeah. own like, if I'm not mistaken, which is complete, it's complete side note. This is a video game DC <laughs> has. I think that's its own universe, or it's like tied to. Uh, it, <laughs> and then, oh yeah, there's also a Mortal Kombat verse too now, and Injustice come from that whole crazy story arc that. Uh, oh that really? Yeah. Uh, Get uh, out of here. Yeah, DC DC's in, in, in the Mortal Kombat verse. That's wild. Yeah, because Warner. Get Brothers, over here. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> because Warner Brothers realized, hey, we can do this crossover, and people would, would like it, and they're right. I do like it. I want Scorpion and Sub Zero in my Batman. Are you kidding me? That sounds amazing. <laughs> or give me Reptile and Shazam going at it. That sounds. Oh that sounds awesome. my gosh! Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to see Goro and Superman throw fists. Let's go. Uh, my money's still on soups. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, money's still on soups for that. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, it'll be it'll be fun to see where they go. It'll be interesting to see because I know The Rock was really really proud of, of yeah. Black Adam, and this is a cool universe to be a part and of. You know what? Like, I don't mind The Rock as an actor. He's, I don't either. He's funny. He can no. do some good roles. I think a superhero or a supervillain or an antihero role is a good role for him. So I, I'm definitely interested or intrigued. I'm intrigued to see how he's going to be. And, you know, going back to, to the Batman, like I knew Pattinson was a good actor and everyone kind of right. hated on him because of Twilight. But listen, the man made fun yeah. of that movie. Yeah. He, he made yeah. fun of that movie, too. So yeah. Um, yeah. and I thought he did really well playing a Batman who is only two years into being batman yeah so yeah, i agree so i'm 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 intrigued i'm intrigued dwayne the rock johnson <laughs> yeah i am too and i i like i said i said i said from the beginning i want the wrestlers to save the dc verse but they have to be allowed to do it yeah i gotta give them a yeah. good story to do it and peace yeah. like john cena's a good job john that was a really good show. <laughs> uh, I, I can't you know it, I, hopefully this is just as good if not better and we get to see more of this because i want to see pierce brosnan as dr fate more. i think oh, listen oh. pierce brosnan is an amazing actor right yeah, I, like he's got some chops on him i agree and so having him when i remember when they announced that he was dr fate and i was just like what yeah yeah so he's a good he's a solid pick yeah yeah i i'm i'm highly intrigued for for this cast and i know i know i'll be seeing it it might not be opening weekend it might be the following weekend but i know i'm gonna see it me so too. me too i know i will too I'll, I'll, I'll be excited for it because i did like the first movie i liked where they were going yes. with it in the direction and everything i thought it was cool it, it, it was I, I just, I thought it was just 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 the right amount of cheese the big red cheese. The big red cheese. Ah, hey! ah, ah. <laughs> I'm never gonna not do that. It's so good. I, I I wish we would have. I wish I would have known about that nickname earlier. Oh my god! So many memes could have been made leading up to this. <laughs> yeah. You know who I would unironically like 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 DC to do a show on uh, HBO Max? This is completely off the rails here, but uh, Plastic Man. You know what? That wouldn't be bad. I would like to see a Black Plastic Man series on HBO Max because that's a really cool character you can do mm -hmm. a lot with. He's super, super, super powerful. A lot of people don't know a lot about him. That's a, a lot of people topic. don't know. Topic. Yeah. But he was a thief. He was like a mob thief. You know, there's a lot you can do with that in TV show. Oh, that would a be lot. so good. 
Yeah. I'm uh, down for that. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, man, Plastic Joe would be really fire, actually. <laughs> Captain Planet <laughs> Villain. Captain Villain. Stop. Uh, <laughs> You know, okay, listen, let me tell you, let me tell you how powerful this, this, this dude is. Yo, our chat is you. off the rails tonight. Let, let me it out for you. All right, Plastic Man, all right, you know, so you know how, you know how Batman has a contingency plan for everybody? You want to know what his contingency plan for Plastic Man was? Put him in a capsule and shoot him across the universe. And by the time he gets back, it won't matter because it'll take him too long to get, to get across back to the universe. That's his plan. He has no other plan for him. Can't kill him. Can't destroy him. Can't get rid of him. Just send him really far away so... <laughs> It takes him a long time to get back. That's Batman's plan. That's the best he could come up with. Well, just we'll just put him really far away. What? 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 <laughs> that's when you know you're that that's when you know Bruce was like, I'm over this. I'm done with able? this. <laughs> He's like, I am just gonna throw I, I... Hail Mary! <laughs> See you in a couple hundred thousand light years, dude, when you get back to Earth and it's not here anymore. <laughs> that's it's so it's so ridiculous i yeah it's he's a face he's a, he's a favorite of mine yeah that's he's really cool <laughs> that would Plus actually like be really monster. cool that like hammerhead yeah. hoping. <laughs> hoping. was hoping we wouldn't go there we went there yeah yeah yeah, yeah like hammerhead <laughs> stupid street sharks Shark reference. <laughs> I feel like I need to get a King Shark tattoo now or a Hammerhead tattoo. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do at the, at the convention. Maybe I'll get a Street Sharks Hammerhead tattoo. Maybe that's what I'll do. No, no, I won't do that. I'm, I'm going to buy something ridiculously overpriced. But speaking Which, of, oh, yeah. I yeah. saw when we were in. Uh, this is totally off topic, uh, yeah. but when we when we were in Charlotte. We saw a Millennium Falcon replica for $1,200. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) You know, and it was like the size of a Frisbee. Wow. Yeah. Okay. (sighs) Did it it actually fly? No, it did not. (laughs) Oh. Even if it was just a drone, if it actually flew, it might have been worth twelve hundred. I've got to be honest with you; that'd be kind of cool. I mean, like, that I, 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 yeah, 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 that would have been cool. But yeah. <laughs> oh, good old hammerhead! I couldn't resist. You know, sometimes you just set me up, and I just hey, gotta you know, spike it. If I see anything at MegaCon, I'll, I'll send you a picture. <laughs> Which is a month away. I'm super excited. We're going to be there. I'm really uh, excited. So you're going. I'm going, to, I'm going to get pictures of Brendan Fraser and send them just to B because I know how, I know how much B loves Brendan Fraser. Yes. Um. Yeah. You know, it would be really great is if you could actually like get him to record something. Oh, do like a cameo or something or something live, something yeah. live with him. Oh my god. Oh, maybe I can get him to do an intro. Oh. <gasps> yes. <laughs> just just for me. I'll just get him to say Jen is better than B. That's just what I'll get him to say. That's perfect. That's all. That's all he needs to say. That's what, that's what I'll get him to say. Oh man. Well, anything else about um our dear Captain Marvel, Captain Marvelous, <laughs> the big red cheese, the big red cheese, <laughs> Lord of Thunder, the God of Gods. I don't think so. I, uh, I I I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the Black Adam movie and Shazam too. Though that's that's for sure, and hoping they kind of explore more of his powers, so and his abilities because he's got some wild ones. Me too. Oh, and before we go, just if you guys want some some quick Google fun, just um, Shazam 1970s stuff. Just uh, yeah, have fun, have fun googling. <laughs> Stuff. I didn't want to talk about it because it's, it's it's something we can go into. But yeah, you guys can just Google it. It just it looks so it looks so sad. It looks so, <laughs> oh, so disco, so sad. <laughs> it's so bad. Disco dick. <laughs> it's yeah. It's I don't. <laughs> don't get me started. Don't get me started. 
right, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. We really appreciate it. Remember, you can catch us live every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the Kindyland Discord. Or if you can't make the live recording, you can catch the uploaded, already recorded, live, well, live show, whatever. Oh, my God. I'm dead. The big cheese yes. got me. <laughs> At 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday on Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Later.